Hi YouTube, it's Anna and welcome back. And as you can see from the title, I am finally uploading uh, my London journal flip through. Actually, it's an England journal flip through because we were in a few places in England. Uh, but first I want to say a big thank you for subscribing to my channel and just continually tuning in to my channel because um, I've, I think some, yeah, sometime yesterday I reached over a thousand subscribers and when I started my YouTube channel I honestly never thought I would get there. I thought I'd just have a few viewers and be able to share my videos and I've really been able to kind of find my own like niche. I mean I guess it's not a niche because a lot of people like to do journaling videos but I've really been able to just share my thoughts on journaling and just hopefully encourage people. Sorry about that, I have the windows open. Um, but just I just want to say a big thank you um, to everybody who has supported my channel. But I'm going to jump right into it because it's going to be a long video. I am going to do two parts because I'm going to do one of uh, the two because I did have uh, we did do two weeks in England and it's just going to be a long video so apologies in advance for this um, longer video. Um, so like I said we did two weeks so it was one week in Manchester which I'm going to do a flip through uh, in this one and then it's going to be one week in London. and. I originally was going to do just one insert for the two weeks, but I know myself pretty well. I tend to be a person who wants to get down every single detail of a trip, and I want to put in every single brochure and photo and tidbit that I can into my journal to just really keep the trip alive. And so I decided to bring two inserts, and as you can see, I kind of kept with the Pan Am theme. I went overload Pan Am for this trip. I got like the Pan Am luggage bag, I got the wash bag, I got the blue edition Midori, um, which this wasn't actually a part of the actual trip. I actually had my brown Midori, but I did have the Pan Am clip, um, but just to kind of display it all together because it looks really nice. Um, that was kind of the setup that I had. And I did pre-decorate the first insert at least. I don't remember, I don't think I pre-decorated the second insert. Um, but I did use a lot of travel ephemera and Pan Am themed stickers and things. I kind of decorated the first few or so pages and then as you can see later on, I just kind of uh, threw in things with the little bits of uh, tidbits that I did bring with me to journal with. So I did have like a washi card with washi and some little things that I could add in to make uh, the journal a little bit more interesting while I was on my trip. And it gave me something to do at the end of uh, each day for me to kind of just recap the day. So this was journal number 50. As you can see, it's the Pan Am insert. This one was the blank insert. And that's what it looks like in the back. And then, as always with all my inserts, I did use an art sticker. This was a Kai Bo one. He's one of my favorite artists. And we took British Airways, so I did keep some of those little ticket things and luggage tags in here. And I did pre-write all the different places that I wanted to visit or that we could visit. And I did kind of cross off the places that we did get to. Oh, I did go to Bath, so I should cross that off. But here was my plane ticket. And you'll see a lot of tip-ins in my journal because I didn't print out my photos until I got back. And then I kind of just added them in afterward, um, after the trip. So you'll see a lot of those tip-ins. Um, this was, I think, something that was on the plane with some nutrition information of the snacks that they gave us. And we stopped at the Nero Cafe at the airport once we got there. More places that I had planned for us to possibly visit. 
And this is like the hotel card of a place that we stayed at when we initially got to England. We landed in London first and then we stayed overnight and then we took the train the next day to Manchester and that's where we stayed for the week. And this is our second trip so this was a really nice leisurely trip which was really nice. Um, what can I say nice any more times uh, than I did? Um, it was just so relaxing. We got to just walk around, um, not rush around, and we didn't have such a tight itinerary than that we did the first time. So we got to really just revisit our favorite places, and I just, I loved it. I miss it. And I think my missing it really um, motivated me to come on here and share with you some memories. Um, I think this is more like information of um, like the hotel that we were staying at. You'll see a lot of me just utilizing the space of like the printouts because we made copies of our hotel information and I would just put in all the photos that I printed later. And if you're wondering how I print my photos out, I think it was like a journal vlog that I posted a while back that uh, I explain how I format my photos and get those printed. So you'll see it's a lot of writing because I want to get down every detail. We went to Selfridges at Manchester. That was my first time ever going. So I put, I cut the bag up. So that's a great way for you to remember it. If they don't have a brochure or store map or something, you can just take the bag and cut it up and just cut out the logo or if they have a cool graphic on it. And then that way you're not stuck with bringing home a big bag um, we went to Cause. That was one of the places in that mall, and I bought some jewelry there. These are photos that I printed in later. Went to Primark. There's a huge shopping area uh, in Manchester City Center. So, and then we went to Joe Malone and um, Boots. We went to the Boots down on that street. So I got a few things like a um, sexy mother pucker lip gloss. Um, our hotel had a Twinings Everyday Blend Tea, which I'd never had before, so I put the tea bag in. Here I talk about going to Fred Aldis, which was one of the places that you guys recommended, so thank you so much. And that is such a great art store. There were so many different traveler's notebook items and washi tape, so these were the two different ones that I did get. And I put the labels in there. And I think they had a bunch of uh, things that I could take, so it was like a bookmark um, and like brochures. We did go to the Manchester Cathedral, so as you can see I tipped in a lot of photos and that was a brochure that you could grab. And then uh, this was like a huge fold out of the actual map and it talks about some of the architecture which is really cool. I love keeping brochures intact if I can, so it does add the, to the thickness of the journal, but I, I like it. It's nice to pull out once in a while and just revisit all of that. And then right after, on this day, we went to Proper Tea. So I grabbed that that was sitting on the table and we had Fentiman's, um, it was like soda or something, so I peeled off the label, more tipped in photos. And this was really cool. This was, I think, one of the nearby art museums on our way back to the hotel and had this cool fold out. So I hope that's all in frame. But I thought that was really cool and I wanted to keep that intact. And we stopped by the library and when we were at Kath Kidston, they had like a bake to win free cake kind of brochure for a contest or something. And this was, uh, part of the packaging from the Midori Traveler's Notebook pencil that I got. And I I've mentioned this in different uh, videos before that I love these little clear film pockets that Traveler's Notebook, Midori Traveler's Notebook makes. And I will actually fill out a whole page and then just put that over. So I'm utilizing every single space if I want to. And then I'll just use that to slip in uh, little mementos. Some more tip-ins and some Kath Kidston 
um, uh, tags from something that I purchased. This was from, like, I think a university bookstore that we stopped by. And I, that's where I got the postcard. I thought this was really fun. Ducks hunting for humans. And so I wrote on the back of that. And there happened to be, like, this really cool brochure of something. I think it was, like, for an art gallery. So I just grabbed it. I just liked the graphics on it, and I made that a tip-in. And then I think this was from another magazine. I have a paper clipped right now, but uh, there was like a little coloring part that they had attached to, was it a brochure? No, I think this was actually part of a shopping bag from a museum and you can actually reuse it and color on it. So I thought that was cool. Um, I've got a coffee sleeve from Cafe Nero. We went to Pretz a lot, Pretz Manger, so I kept the sticker of one of the food items that we got. We ate there a lot. Um, really good takeaway if you're kind of on a budget. This day we actually went to Cheatham's Library, which is, I believe, the oldest library in the Western world or in England. I can't remember which, but that was my huge goal for going to Manchester. And so there's pictures of me. This is a table that... Um, Nietzsche, yeah, Nietzsche and Lenin would just sit, or was it Marx? Marx and Lenin? I think it was Marx and Lenin. They would actually sit there and think and theorize and write. So it's a very famous library. I encourage you to go there if you're a, a fan of the written word. So there's pictures for that. Lots of tip-ins of photos. That was seriously the highlight of my trip. More... Um, coloring page things from the Manchester Museum. We went to the Salford Lads Club, so if you're a Morrissey fan or the Smiths fan, you would know where that is. We took pictures in the front. We got a really cool tour from the lady and the uh, gentleman that were running it that day. It's an actual Lads Club, so um, youth, so kids, um, and they do let girls in now, can go after school as kind of after school programs and get them into sports and creativity. So that's really cool. She showed us around and they were actually filming like a movie that took place in the 1940s, I think, or World War One. can't remember, but they had a whole section of the building kind of uh, gated off because uh, they had all the props in there for filming and we got to tour that area too so that was really cool. We went to Harvey Nichols Food Market and got some food there. This was a wrapper from I think it was like a tea cake or something so I decided to keep that. More Salford Lads Club things and I wrote down the bus that we took to get there from where we were. More tip-ins more Salford Lads Club information. And once again, I cut up a bag. This is the Kath Kidston one. It was really pretty and I really didn't want to, but I also didn't want to weigh down my suitcase with just bags. <laughs> that would be silly, because we packed really light this time around. We each had one small carry-on suitcase and then a separate carry-on for ourselves, and that was pretty much it. I did bring my uh, bring with me a little packet of um, bath salts, so if I wanted to take a bath, um, and obviously I did, I had one. Cornettos, if you're a big Nick Frost and Simon Pegg fan, um, their movies, they always have Cornettos. So when we saw those, we were like, we had to get it. And this was from the Pets Manger, Pet Manger bag. Cut that up. And I did get a necklace. Um, this is, here I can show you. This is the little um, card explaining the importance of the reprint or the replica of this little coin necklace that I got from the museum, what it means and who they are um, on the coin. Um, and I decided to use that as a charm for my current Midori. There were a lot, oh, I think these are like Heidi Swap stickers. I was wondering where I got those from. Um, I did um, add some like traveler's notebook 
washi on here. We went to Lincolnshire to do some research on my husband's uh, ancestors. So we were able to trace it back to early 1800s or late 1700s, I think. It was late 1700s. And then the records cut off because they um, came from a different area and the history stopped at about that time when the family moved to Lincolnshire. So when we went to the archives building, we each had to fill out a name tag so they could identify us. And so, and as you can see, I did write over this whole page and then utilize those clear pockets to put that in there. And we, this is just all the information from the archives. I grabbed like the little cards that you can use for referencing documents. And this is a map of the city center. We did walk around quite a bit there afterward. And we were happy to discover the Lincoln Castle, which had a copy of the Magna Carta, which that was a really cool thing to be able to see in person. So I added a little quote from this that I had, not all those who uh, wander are lost. That's from J.R. Tolkien. And that's our ticket for Lincoln Castle. So I talked about that. And then I think this is the next day we went to a Chelsea game and it was against Everton, but our seats were in the Everton section. So we had to kind of keep our cheering for Chelsea on the down low. <laughs> that was really funny. We had to pretend that we were cheering for Everton, but we're, we're Chelsea fans. These are, um, or this is one of the train tickets that we took to get there, because that was in Liverpool. Ooh, hair. And the rest are just gonna be photos that I just added on later once we got back. Um, I did like this part. There was this huge map of the Lincoln Castle that was just too thick if I had added to the whole, to this journal. So I decided to cut out the main part and I went through the index or the key and wrote down the different parts of the map. So I had that as a reference to look back on and then I just folded that and added it there. And then I did add the Lincoln map as a fold out. And then just more different little bits, like this is from the Cheatham's brochure. So you can see, kind of see how old it is. Just That was just incredible. And we went to Penn Halligan's because my husband really likes that place. It's like a really high-end store where they have perfumes and men's colognes and things. So um, they had a couple samples or something. So I just took those and then cut those out for the little pocket here. So I hope that was I hope that was enjoyable. <laughs> um, I know that this was from a while back. We went to England. I think this was last September. So this video is a little bit late, and I apologize for that. But um, hopefully you got some insight and maybe some tips for travel journaling yourself and just kind of getting a, an idea of what kind of things that you can tip in or add or use to decorate. Like I said, I don't decorate too much. I kind of do it at the moment um, just because I want to just get down all my memories and just be in the moment mostly. So when I travel, I'll have this insert in my Midori and I'll have my Midori with and I'll just stick things in there. I will stuff it full with business cards and brochures and such and then I'll kind of reconvene at night when I'm you know, just relaxing in front of the TV or something in the hotel and just paste everything down or if I have a moment I will actually just stick it in with a piece of washi just grab just rip off a little piece stick it in my journal so I know oops, sorry I bumped you there um, and stick it in my journal and then I'll know that okay this page is going to be for this part of my trip or if um, if I'm able to peel a sticker off in the moment of something I can just stick it right in my journal so I hope this was helpful um, and just let me know. It seems to 
be something you liked before when I did the journal flip. So let me know if this is something you guys want to see more often. If you want to see um, more current journal flips or if I just want to randomly dip into my journal stash and kind of give you a, a look in, let me know um, in the comments section below. So I hope you guys are doing well and if you guys are traveling soon and are planning your own journal setups for that or if you've just got back from a trip and you finished a journal, let me know. Tag me or just give me a link to your videos. I am uh, I'm desperate for traveling but at the moment uh, we're just kind of enjoying living in our new home so I if I can live vicariously through your videos and um, your blog posts if you have them if you have pictures uh, please please share because I I just love seeing people's travel journals it just makes me so happy and it's one of my favorite videos to watch so I hope you guys are doing well and thank you so much for watching bye